But it's chorus started by playing the drums, you know, in Africa. It's very really normal for me. I do it anytime, almost anywhere I want. So when I moved to Copenhagen, we have an apartment. And of course, my home in the apartment, that's where my home is, that's where I play normally. <laughs> so then I start taking my djembe out, it's a big drum, playing this drum. After a few times, it was a knocking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my neighbor said, Unschool my man, did that the whole age. So, of course. <laughs> but then one day I was taking a walk on stroll. Yeah. I saw different people playing music and with some crowd, you know, happy dancing. I was like, wow, what's happened? <laughs> this is a bit more like. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then I find out, find out that actually I could do the same if I want. I can come and play here, and if I'm lucky, I could get some little money. Mm -hmm. Then one beautiful summer afternoon, I invite four of my friends with drums, only drums. And uh, we start playing a few minutes after it was full with people yeah. clapping, dancing. I was like, yes, this is a bit more like home, you know? But uh, while playing, then it was, it came some young beautiful lady walking towards me and she was coming, I was like myself, this cannot be a better day, <laughs> you know? But then when she came to me, she said, if you need to stop, tell her I'm hell well <laughs> From there, I said, okay, maybe this is a time to look at some quiet instruments. <laughs> I think that I feel like so, actually, when you start playing this <coughs> instrument, there is always a song that you have to start learning that when you start playing the chora. <coughs> and that's, that song you learn because you have to combine, because normally it's a one-man instrument. You have a Creole guy playing, and someone is narrating. So therefore you have to do everything, play the accompaniment and the melody and to improvise at the same time. And sometimes they will sing and sometimes they will just, you know, noon like, you know, to... But... Uh, we'll take it as, actually, when you start to play the accompaniment, then we can see how it goes. Okay. And it's called Karam Follow, which means first lesson. Then the bass. Should we put more? Yeah, yeah, please, please. <laughs> I'm not going to 
Gambia, very much of it is uh, based on, you know, if you know this term of minor and major, and uh, where I am from, they tend to play very much of major, and, um, you know, it, it is fine, you know, you get happy and all that, and it's very, you know, has been well played by some of the masters, you know, but then um, at some point, you know, I had a chora played together with Ngone and Balafon, and this was not from Gambia, it was from Mali. And of course it was to manage Yabate and uh, Kelly Tiki and Basi Kuyate, acoustic setup. And uh, when I heard this, it went inside, you know, I felt something. Because it's just not happy, you know, I could 
<coughs> sit and I can see pictures and I can imagine things and so that inspires me in a way that when I first started to play, I was looking into those records and those style of music very much. So yeah, so I'm very inspired from the music from Mali also. It's it's funny you says it because when you play your tunes, it has a little as the same as some, some of the Brazilian music can have. Okay. That it has this. Um, I mean, it's it's like uh, how do you? I, I mean, it's caressing your soul. I mean, <coughs> and it's harmonic and so. But there's also a little tristesse. This is uh, yeah, it's sadness. Yeah. Sadness. Yeah. Little sadness somewhere, but you know, but tristesse and sadness in Portuguese. I mean, you can also say sadness in another way. Yeah. Melancholic. So yeah, melancholic. But 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 you know, tristesse. It's something that you can. I mean, you can live with it. Yes. You don't die from no, it. No, no. <laughs> like this, you know. You can live with it, but there is something that a little in your tune, in in the way you play, you know, yeah. that you 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 become happy. Yes. But you know, there's also something that maybe scratches the soul. Yeah, I mean, the, like I said, also, you know, the Kora for me, it was a strength instrument and this history of me being a Kora family and the way I grew up, you know, so, as I said, after I have my three beautiful kids, you know, even before, I've already after the first one, yeah. then I felt a lot of things, you know, and of course, you know, I cannot use the past for any bad thing. Anything happened that time, that's what made me who I am today. Mm -hmm. But of course, there has been a sad moment, a lot of it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I don't try to make songs, you know, in that way that I force things out of me. So I, I, when I take the chorus, I go, you know, I, I have some other feelings than just happy drumming and, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I remember my record company say, you know, if you want people to listen to you, you have to play one major song. You know, some really, a major, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. a happy song, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, um, it has something to do with me personally yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. what I have inside me. Yeah. So, but you know, I'm a percussion player also, when I go to my practice room, once in a while I play, and I can catch a big smile on my face, you know. <laughs> so I have a two mm, position, you know, two different ways to have yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah, but I we will uh, ask Dabla to play the last tune. I mean, for tonight. Yeah. Maybe not. I'm not for tonight. For before, maybe you play for your family before we sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I mean, at least for us for yeah. tonight. Yeah. Play the last tune. You play a tune for us? Yes, yeah. I'll play just, you know, instrumental tune <coughs> because, um, you know, I, in, in the Gambia, I live in the heat, you know, it's warm and it's so nice all the time. <laughs> but actually in Denmark, when it's, it's, you know, in the winter, you know, you see the snow, it's actually very beautiful. Yeah. You know, when at some point I, I recorded all my, rec you know, vocals and the chorus at my home, like I wrote, it's almost like the soundtrack for my wife and children, you know, sleep, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but of course, you know, to act until, you know, it works out because, you know, we live five people <coughs> and uh, they need quietness sometimes. <laughs> but uh, my wife has some lovely people around her also who also want to help us. Then uh, one of her friends borrowed me a summer house to go and, and finish working, you know and I have made plans and everything, what I was supposed to do, you know. Then, when I get there, I, I sit, it was a glass window, look outside, it was beautiful winter and, you know, some snows on the trees, and, you know, it's, it, you know, it also beautiful vibe, so that got into me, and while I was looking, I was playing, so I composed a song called Winter Trees Standing Sleeping. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 